Okay, so we've been receiving quite a few requests to increase the frequency of the free videos that we've been putting out. So um, what we thought we'd do is follow the same sort of quick tip format that we've been using on Facebook and Twitter. So essentially we've been posting lots of uh, tips and tricks on there on a regular basis for our followers. If you haven't seen those, it's facebook.com forward slash quantize courses or twitter.com forward slash quantize courses. So the quick tip series will be exactly that, just some short videos. And this one's going to look at a way to spice up your delays. Now, all of the subjects that we'll be covering, if you want to learn about those in more detail, you might want to consider some of our online courses. If you haven't heard about those, they're all one-to-one -one based with an Ableton certified instructor. You get access to a huge library of tutorial videos and essentially you build your own track with regular video feedback and one-to-one -one online chats. So it's all tailored to your genre of choice and your experience level. So let's dive in to this tutorial. I've knocked up a quick loop here for us. And what we're going to be doing is adding a delay to this hit. So it's just a percussive sample. And the first thing we're going to do is throw on the simple delay and link this up so that both the left and right are the same. And we're running with um, 3 sixteenths here. And I'm going to push the feedback right up and make the dry wet 100% because what we're going to do next is actually record this track. So we're just going to capture the delay. So let's take that from perk hit, record arm. And now what we can do is delete the original delay because we don't need that anymore. So we've effectively got the wet on one, tra um, one track and the dry on another. And we can now get in and audio edit this. So for example, I'm going to take a slice here and consolidate this and then reverse this round. And if we open up another audio track, we can take the remaining delay after the reverse and edit that further. So in this case, what I'm going to do is delete this. So we end up with just this one hit. I just want to go in and sort of double check because we often get these sort of little bits that are hanging over. So that's going to kind of cause a click. So I can just slip edit this to take that click out. And then on this track, we'll put a different delay. So we could put any any number you want really, experiment with these. I'm actually just going to leave this with three fives. So we get a, a sort of stereo delay and we turn the feedback up a bit and some more dry wet. And let's have a listen to what we get now. So you can still hear there's a little bit of a click in there. It might be coming from that end. There we go, that's better. And maybe let's take this hit and drop it down as well. Okay, great. So let's try that with a loop and see what we've ended up with. Ideal. So that was the quick tip this time round, just a way of spicing up your delays. As always, any comments are welcome. Take care.